This tutorial shows how to load a dimensional model using Talent Open Studio. A dimensional model is an optimization of data structures for the purpose of analysis. This tutorial is going to load a spreadsheet of revenue data, the first column of which describes the source of the revenue, and then column B is showing the revenue numbers for fiscal year 2006. The dimensional target consists of three conforming dimensions of a school system, SRDIM system, the revenue sources, SRDIM revenue source, SRDIM year, which is a time element, and the facts are recorded in SR fact revenue. The dimensions are independent and they use surrogate keys, which will be important in the processing. The talent job starts off with a master job there's a clear all component or a clear all sub job that is going to be deactivated in any time of type of production setting. The dimensions are loaded first, followed by the fact table. Since the dimensions are independent, they could be loaded in parallel, but they will need to be loaded before the fact table so that the surrogate keys are available in that processing. Looking at the revenue source, the Excel spreadsheet uses a map to load the MySQL table. There's a filter applied that's going to strip out some of the headers that are there for purely presentation purposes. Looking at the filter row column uh, component, it's checking to make sure that there is a value in both of the fields that we're interested in. The map The map is going to take the revenue source and run into the dimension. The ID is filled in with a MySQL generated value. And then finally, the data is loaded into the table. And this is using insert or update on duplicate key or unique index. There is an index placed on the serve system name. Dim system is pretty straightforward for this tutorial. It's a single hard-coded statement. There's an insert statement here and it contains the hard-coded values of FCPS. That'll be used in the fact table processing. Load Demir is uh, similarly simple. It uses a for each component that contains a list of values for each year. Then a fixed flow input which converts that to a two-column value that's then sent over to SR DIM year, the output MySQL table. This is referring to a global variable that was set up in the for each component. Lastly, the fact table is loaded. Each of the dimensions were loaded beforehand so they can now serve as lookups. Those lookups will be returning a surrogate key for a business key like a revenue source name. Um, the tutorial is using some hard-coded data, and that's set up in this globals component. I've defined a year and a system, 2006 and FCPS, and that'll be pushed into the dimensional lookups uh, as the fact table is being loaded. It, it takes the same spreadsheet as was used in the dimensions, has a filter for removing empty records. Take a look at that. Very similar to the earlier dimensional filter. And then each of the source tables plugs into a map, and the map is the controlling the output to the fact table. The facts are coming from the Y2006 actual column, and they're loaded here into actual. One of the dimensions, revenue source, is providing a source ID, and that's based on a join here from the input the input Excel file and the dimensional table. For the data structures under row 8 and row 7, they're using the global value I mentioned when I was showing the uh, globals component. Uh, pulling from the global math, this is using system. This will return the string FCPS. And this will, after some uh, work to make sure that it can be used as an, as an assignment, uh, that's this this new Java operator. Uh, the global map gets the year, which is 2006. 
and both of those do a lookup and they return the surrogate ID for use in the fact table. And then here's the fact table. And the fact table, unlike the prior dimension, will always insert. Operationally, you may want to have some provision for backing out a change, uh, an exchange partition, or some database technique for providing a, a good quality of service. Uh, in this example, it's always uh, going to be inserted. Go back to my master job here, run it. And it looks like it ran, so I'll bring up a terminal window and a previous run. And there's some new records here. So uh, here from the previous run, you can see some of the surrogates have changed. Um, but they are all filled in, which indicates a good load, not only of the fact table, which we're looking at, but also of the dimensions. So it's very easy to do dimensional modeling with Talon with some of the pre-built components. There are some ETL or ELT components uh, for working within the database, but for this simple example where a, a spreadsheet is loaded into something that's a uh, very reasonable structure, um, Talon seemed to fit the bill. Thank you.